Welcome to Webisode 1 of Separation Processes. This webisode is all about uh, calculating minimum solvent flow rate. For both gas absorption and stripping, the minimum solvent flow rate occurs when one end of the operating line touches the equilibrium line. In stripping, by definition, our solvent is the fresh vapour being fed at the bottom of the column. This is denoted by Vn plus 1, and it is the composition Y1 which is the solute concentration in the gas leaving the top of the column that changes. In gas absorption, our solvent is actually the liquid being fed at the top of the column, and as we decrease that flow rate, we will change the concentration of the solute in the liquid phase, Xn, at the bottom of the column. Looking in particular at stripping, we're transferring our solute from the feed, which is the liquid coming here, into the vapour, so our vapour solvent enters the column at the bottom with effectively zero solute concentration. The solute is transferred from the liquid and travels out at the top. When we look at our operating line for stripping, it always sits underneath the equilibrium line. The top end of the operating line corresponds to the top of the column, and the bottom end of the operating line corresponds to the bottom of the column. As we decrease this solvent flow rate here, we increase the concentration Y1 in the vapour phase leaving the top of the column. And so what that results in is this end of the operating line shifting upwards like so. In gas absorption, we're actually using a liquid solvent. So this is our fresh solvent being fed at the top of the column here and we're transferring our solute out of the feed stream here into this liquid stream here. So as we decrease this flow rate here, we still have to transfer the same amount of solute out of the vapor phase into the liquid, and this concentration here, Xn, will increase. So it's important to note the operating line always sits above the equilibrium line for gas absorption, but the top end of the operating line corresponds to the bottom of the column, and the bottom end of the operating line corresponds to the top of the column. This is the opposite to stripping. And we said that Xn is the concentration that increases, so this is Xn here. When that increases, this point moves across here until it contacts our equilibrium line. So that's our new operating line for gas absorption where we have a minimum solvent flow rate. That's the end of Webisode 1.